what Comto does and has done for its 53 year history is advocate for equity in the transportation space and support underrepresented and marginalized communities. So this Reconnecting Community Summit is a convening of policymakers, community members, and elected officials that are really dedicated to reconnecting communities that have been divided by transportation projects of the past and harmed the primarily black and brown communities that they surrounded. So that's why we're here and we're glad that we can be here for the second year and glad to continue to have the support of our partner agency, ASHTO Center for Environmental Excellence. I would just like to say that we are so happy that Comto brought this project to us and we're always, always willing to work with other organizations like Comto to you know, find organizations, to find opportunities like this to help sponsor other meetings because reconnecting communities isn't the only thing out there. We are at a pivotal time. We're actually at the best time with record amount of funding being available, with tons and tons of outside organizations having the opportunity to take federal dollars and put them towards projects. It does put a lot of pressure though on state agencies and that's where we can actually come in to help support them. So we work with the center and not just with state DOTs, but with state environmental agencies, with uh, municipal planning organizations, with regional planning organizations, to help all the communities and all the other organizations around the country take the opportunity, take advantage of this you know, time period that we're in and, and really, really take advantage of this pivotal point that we're at. The voice of the underrepresented is important and it has to be valued and it has to be at the forefront of these projects that we're doing. And that's really, I think, what the underlying theme has been here. Truly, a lot of these communities had no voice and no opportunity in any say when it first happened. So this time around, it's like, no, we cannot have that happen again. And we really have to do authentic and meaningful engagement with our community members to value those voices as we create these new projects.